This week, we are going to explore agricultural products and byproducts in preparation for a home scavenger hunt. First, let's take a look at what products are. Notice there is a pencil here. This is something you might want to write down to come back and remember. Products are the main purpose or reason a plant or animal is used. So let's take a look at what that means. From cattle, we have an example of a product being milk. Milk would come from a type of cattle called dairy cattle, which we often refer to as cows. Also from cattle, we get meat, such as filet, ribeye, strip steak, ground beef, etc. All of these are products, the main purpose that we might harvest or slaughter an animal. If we were discussing a pig, meat is also a product from pigs, including ham, pork chops, bacon, pork loin, etc. Byproducts are the secondary or not main product. It could be something useful and marketable, or it could be something that is waste. In the example of cattle, we wouldn't kill them for their leather as the main reason. However, once they have been slaughtered for their meat, we can then get the secondary product or byproduct. So let's take a look at some examples. As you look at the examples on the screen, you'll notice that the majority of items listed are products. Bread from wheat, blue jeans from cotton, peanut butter from peanuts, cooking oil from peanuts or vegetables. You'll also notice, however, there are two items that are identified in red. That is baby lotion, which is a byproduct that sometimes comes from soybeans, as well as paper bags, which are a byproduct of southern pine trees. Again, we don't kill the tree simply to make a paper bag. If we notice our next list, products are now listed in red and we have none. Originally, tennis rackets were made from sheep intestines. Often now, artificial string is used. Toothpaste contains cornstarch from corn, but also glycerin that comes from the fat of pigs. Fishing lures for fly fishing might include rooster feathers. Shaving cream has fatty acid from cows. Marshmallows contain gelatin from cattle and hog bones. Insulin was originally derived from hogs, and diapers will contain some cornstarch. In Google Classroom, you will see that there are links to files called everything but the cluck, everything but the oink, everything but the moo, and everything but the ba. Visiting these files will help you explore on your own some of the other byproducts from these four major animals of agriculture. Once you're done with that, I encourage you to challenge yourself by taking the Quizlet knowledge test found at the link that's provided in Google Classroom. Product or byproduct? Note it's best to experience this as a flashcard review. For your own exploration, if you choose, we also make some connections between baseball and agriculture. You will notice that there's a graphic that allows you to click on the graphic and see several connections of how baseball and agriculture are related and how they need each other to successfully survive. Although this is based in Minnesota because their agriculture in the classroom program provided the resource Pharmaceuticals, soap and deodorant, gloves and mitts, 
and the other connections they provide are connections not just for Minnesota and not just for baseball, but relevant to all of our lives on a regular basis. As we continue this journey, you will have the opportunity to explore a How It's Made baseball video. Again, this component is an optional part of the lesson, but if you choose to engage, consider whether you think the item is a product or a byproduct. And once you've done that, feel free to visit our products and byproducts answer in our Google Classroom. Note that the very start of the baseball does have pill, which comes from cork, a product of an oak tree, and rubber, a product of a rubber tree. There's more opportunity to explore the baseball and ag connection linked to our assignment. The last thing that I want you to be aware of is what's next. And what's next is after we have completed this lesson and after you've spent some time exploring the different by